Unasema yani nikiumwa, nikiumwa hapa tumbo si imeumwa kama mida hii. Alafu niwahi hospitalini. Unasema wanapata ubovu. Watafanyaje kazi? Yaani wanaogopa hicho hospitalini. Eh. Sasa akiona hivyo, nasema ngoja tumuite huyu mkunga ili tuangalie, alafu tutajifungua tu. Kwa yule mama itabidi ajifungulie yale mazingira ambayo sio salama. Furaha ya mama yoyote ni kufika mahali ambapo anapata huduma, yeye atoke salama na mtoto wake apate salama. Lakini kutokana na mila zetu za Kiafrika na asilimia kubwa ya mila za Kiafrika mwanamke hana sauti yote kwenye jamii. Hivyo humpelekea yeye kwenda kupata huduma kwa mkunga wa jadi. Chungu siku tatu e, ikawa damu. Ilikuwa damu. Ndio ilikuwa nyingi ndo wakanibeba katika hospitali. Ndio baadaye wasema si tumeshindwa mpelekeni hospitali kubwa. Fahamu mimi niliona tu mtoto ila sijifungua kwa vizuri hajanipaswa. Lakini wanasema ilikuwa saa 8 ndio wanifanyia hiyo kitu. Nilikaa kama siku tatu nikaanza kuwa na huo mkojo. Na mwaka mmoja nimekaa na ugonjwa huu. Nijisikia kwa nimeacha watoto wangu na mume wangu ndio hivi wametoroka. Na nilikuwa najisikia vibaya. Nilipata uamuzi nasema Mungu bora nichukue. <laughs> Because they've been in labour for so long, the baby's head's been pressed against the mother's pelvis and all the tissues between the bladder, the birth canal, rectum, birth canal, all those tissues die because the blood supply is cut off. So for the babies delivered, all those dead tissues come away and they're left with a fistula or a hole between the bladder, birth canal, rectum, birth canal. So they leak urine and feces just uncontrollably every minute of every day. Mama anapopata tatizo la mikojo kwenye jamii, kwanza wanamuona kama ni mtu ambaye ana uchafu, ana harufu mbaya na wanamuona kama ni mtu ambaye haezi kukaa katikati ya watu kutokana na ile hali yake ya mikojo. Na wengi hu, huweza kusema kwamba huyu ana tatizo la mikojo ambalo halitatibika. Nilipo sikia, yani sikia mwezi tu huu, niko sikia tiba huku kasema huko nikienda naenda kupona bora aende The treatment for fistula is challenging the surgery itself is challenging some people have described it as the most painstaking surgery of all surgeries so you need to do a lot of reconstructive surgery to put it all back together so you can get an anatomical result with some practice with some training but to get a functional result is even more difficult to get a, a bladder and urethra that can hold urine normally and pass urine normally is extraordinarily challenging Leo kuja huku Arusha Gburini nimepata tiba nzuri sana na nimepona. Matibabu ni mazuri, unakula bure, nini bure? So throughout our networks we we train at least 100 midwives every year in good safe clinical skills. We are always training in the villages, educating the communities about the need for safe obstetric care, what is a fistula that it can be treated for free um, in our hospitals, so having a plan to get the the lady to a hospital for their deliveries. Sasa kwa mida hii nimepona. Tenda kushukuru na kushangilia na kufurahia na nitafanya kazi zangu vema. Tuutu utarudi kuwa mpya. Kwa kuwa mzuri sana.